What's on everyone, Vaporwave UK here, back again for another hardware review on this channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing the IQ Vape by Hangzen. This is called the IQ S3. Now this pod system is absolutely fantastic and the design is so sleek. So uh, let's get down after the intro and you guys can see the unboxing. from the intro now here it is here's the box itself so we have the IQ it says ultra portable device and uh, on the back here we have the specifications resistance 2 ohm voltage 3.7 you guys can read it you guys know exactly you can just have a look here what's in it it's made by Hangson uh, it comes from California and that's the it's designed in USA and manufactured in China now first impression of the box is very iPhone like so uh, the design is very, uh, very sleek looking, as you can see. Let's jump in and open this box. Look at that. Now I have been using it, so there will be a few fingerprints on it, but that's okay. You, you, you guys know what it'll look like. Look at this. This is just fantastic. Obviously you can see me there filming. That's how mirrored it is. Absolutely fantastic. Lovely, lovely design. Now let's uh, get the device out itself. You can get these in white. You can also get them in black with a gold trim. This is black with a black trim. But look at that. That's your viewing port for your juices. In there, you can't really see a lot. This is your pod itself. And that's a two mil pod, which is awesome. It's refillable from that little cap just there. And yeah, I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Such a great design. Now this is the actual device itself with the screen. You have your puffs and your battery indicator. And there it is, you, can, you, you notice that the big label there, IQ. You've got your venting down the bottom, very iPhone-like, with the charger right there. Look at this. I absolutely love it. I think it's amazing. Simply just place it in, and it will come on. And there you go. Absolutely awesome. And we'll get around to showing you guys the features soon. So let's get rid, well, let's get rid of this bit of the box. It'd be nice if there was a little bit of a finger port to kind of open it up with. So inside you get your usual warning manual. When you fully saturate the cotton with desired e-liquid, once the e-liquid is filled, replace rubber stopper and insert pop with the drip top facing forward, or upward. And you need to allow e-liquid to sit for one minute prior to use. Now suggestion is replaced with a new cartridge after refilling three times. And there you go, IQ. Very nice actually warning card there inside the device as well you will get another very hard to get out spare pod system there you go that as you can see that's where the juice will go in in my opinion a bit fiddly in that area but that's okay it'll come with a rubber cap or a rubber stopper again very tight on there but then again that's good there we go awesome look at that straight up so i'll put that back on and there you go that is your pod system it's got a hidden coil hidden cotton wick so you cannot see but it's a two mil um pod which i think is really good and the battery in this is a 400 milliamp battery which is really good for a pod system okay now let's have a look what else you get you also get a little refillable bottle which has some, some of my desired e-juice in there i think it's the own brew 5050 and when you open this up you'll get a needle feeder now in there obviously you put it inside your pod and you just squeeze away and that will refill it really nicely so that's a good little thing it comes with it also comes with a nice swanky looking charger very iphone like again i do really like the, the design of the whole pod system in my opinion it's probably the, the nicest looking pod system out there and it really works very well as you'll find out why in a minute so let's get this back on top and uh Let's have a look at it one more time before we jump back up to the top. Look, just look at it, it's amazing. Absolutely fantastic. The only thing I don't like about this black is that it does catch your fingerprints in the light, as you can see. You can see it right there, look at that, all the scratches already. Um, but then again, black does scratch. As you'd know, if you have an iPhone screen and you take the screen protector off, you can more than likely have scratches very, very easily. And obviously, again, the vents on the bottom, very iPhone like i think it's gone for the same sort of style um but it's not an iphone it's just very very nice and i really do like it um the other features you can get obviously sorry with colors is black gold so you can black with a gold trim white with a stainless steel trim i think it is 
and yeah the this bit in the back is a viewing port which doesn't really work <laughs> you can't see inside for the viewing port the ultimate version 2 i'd strongly recommend this bit as you can see as well it has scratched very easily there as well uh, i did notice that when it actually came through the, the package as well i do have a slight dent which you can see just there which actually was already on the on the device which i was a little bit annoyed about be nice if there wasn't but you can't visually see it unless you tilt it into the light um, and you can see it just there this bit just here you can see where it's kind of dented but apart from that it still works completely fine so let's jump back up to the top and I'll show you guys exactly how it works just before we do that I've got to show you as I do it all fits in your hand very nicely very sleek so let's jump back up to the top all right we're back up the top now as you can see this is the, the device itself very nice fits in your hand it's a mouth tool on and a direct tool on. It's got two different modes, which is awesome. You can't change the modes, you just change how you tote. Now, if I take a drag, you guys can see, I'll do it closely. It tells you when you have a puff. Now, that's mouth tool on. I can give you guys another one because I know it does cloud more than that. Really good clouds for this small, small device very nice clouds i really enjoy that um what else have we got with features obviously the pod system pulls out and just pops back in very easily it is a very it is really loose it won't fall out but it it's very loose on the uh when, it, when it's in which would be nice if it was a little bit tighter and then also um as i said it scratches very easy to be nice maybe there are some covers out there It'd be nice that there was a few covers now let's have a look at the uh direct along it's very tight but really good clouds flavor is really good as well it's there depending on what juice you use as i'm using the own brew 50 50 it works highly well with nick salt which is good because you know you only need a few takes on them and you uh, you can wait for a long time i really like it how it's got a refillable pod system I'll show you guys quickly how it would go along. I'll just get you guys out the pod, uh, the uh, refillable bottle. So you go to literally take off that. So you have your needle. You're going to pull off this little tab just here. And you're going to put this upside down. And you're just going to squeeze. And you can see it's refilled. And uh, if you were doing this for the first time, you must, I'd wait at least 15 minutes. Just be patient. Let it. Let it soak in, otherwise you will burn the coil and you will ruin the whole pod. Now that usually is quite fiddly to get in that little black bit. I don't know if you guys can see on the camera there's a black bit just there. That will be really sometimes difficult to get back in, what well, is for me anyway. As you guys know if you watch my videos, <coughs> fiddly things do really annoy me. Now let's have a look. So it's back in. When you take the pod device out and you put it back in, sometimes, well, usually if you wait for the screen to go off, which it will come on. There we go. When you put it back in, you get the menu coming up. There you go. Absolutely fantastic. Now, I would recommend obviously getting one. The cons, I'd say, is the screen. There's no really need for that puff, sort of telling you when there's having a puff. Although it is that quiet. And you don't feel it going in, so you, I guess in a way it's good it's there. But in my opinion, they could have done something else, maybe some functions, turn it up, turn it down in what edge. Depends. There's a lot of potential for this device. Now, I do like the sleekness and the way it looks. Very nice for this day and age with all this technology coming out. Very uh, very bright, um, sort of sticks out. Even though it's black, people always have been, well, since I got it, people have been asking me, what is that, you know? Is it... Um, well, a lot of people, a lot of people thought it was an iPod, but a lot of people were like, you know, what is that? Let's have a look at it, check it out. So, um, yeah, I mean, a lot of people have been very interested in it. So, yeah, if you do see one around or you get the chance to grab one, highly recommend you do that. Really, really good. Get a nice throat hit as well. Can't have too much them nick because you'll start getting a bit dizzy. But this is really my well. well it has become my favourite pod device. I love it. It's such a sleek design, like I've said. And I would probably rate this a 9 out of 10. The only reason I rate it 9 out of 10 is because of this loose um, bit right here. And as well, it scratches very easily. And I had, obviously, mine came with a dent. 
but this is really really good now you can get this um i'll look well i'm not sure if it's available in the uk yet but i will look for you guys put some links down in the description below the pros i love how these are two mil two mil pod the pod that's two mil it's freaking fantastic you just it's great you know it lasts a long time battery life lasts ages they got the battery indicator just there i really like how it's got that battery indicator some of them have lights it doesn't really tell you the percentage but this says it's on 90 percent and the battery does last a long time and it charges real fast as well i'd say about 20 minutes a half an hour and it's fully charged the battery will last between two to four hours depending on how much you use it me it lasts roughly about two and a half three hours so it's you know just under that four and a half for a four hour mark but it's still really really good i really enjoy this vape uh like i said nine out of ten there's not really much else cons to it there's a lot of pros and um, well maybe actually another con would be the, the viewing screen for your liquid capacity it's not that good you can't really see anything in it so therefore I would still give it a 9 out of 10, but if they were to fix that with a version 2, this thing would be 10 out of 10 straight up. But this is just my opinion, this is what I think, this is a non-biased review, this has been provided to me by Hangson, and this is a, kind of um, a sponsor video for them, so you, can, you guys can check them out. IQ Vape on the Instagram, I will tag it down below in the description. But I've been Vapeways, this has been Vapeways UK, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.